In this video, we're going to be exporting this substance painter project and then importing it into Unreal. Uh, so I'm assuming you've been following through this texturing video. If you haven't, this also is just a generic guide for exporting something and then importing it into Unreal. So the first thing to do is we need to go to File, Export Textures, and then select the destination here. And then you need to go down, so your config will be one of these by default. And you need to go down to Unreal Engine 4 Packed. If there's an Unreal Engine 5 Packed and newer versions of Substance, that's you can select that, but this works in Unreal Engine 5. And then you need to select the texture sets. So if it's not selected, make sure to select it. And then you need to select your resolution. Now the nice thing about Unreal is even if you export to 4K, you can actually downsample in Unreal. And there's also different ways to reduce the impact of a model in terms of performance. So if you want to export 4K, you can. I'm actually going to just for fun. So let's go ahead and export this. Okay, so you will need to have Unreal Engine installed because we are going to be opening Unreal Engine. So you can just go to the games section to create a new project and we can just go to first person. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you do. First person, we can just look at the asset a little bit better when we're actually playing. Uh, so let's do that. You can do blueprint. Um, desktop is fine. Uh, I would leave ray tracing turned off. Ray tracing will hit your performance really heavy. This is just for importing a video or a, a model demo, but it's still pretty crazy to use and I don't recommend running it. All right, so Unreal is just gonna open. Okay, so now that we have this opened, what we can do is I'm gonna pull over my file browser here. You can actually just drag the model into the project. So I'm just gonna drag it in and then an importer will come up uh, so convert scene, that can be on. Uh, I need to play with some of these settings, but this should help with scaling, I believe. Generate missing collision. You can do, so collision will automatically be generated. You can turn this off if you want. I usually do custom collision anyways. So I guess we can turn that off. Uh, as for advanced options, probably shouldn't need to mess around with too much of this. We can just hit import. We should be fine. We're not doing anything crazy. All right, so now let's place our guy. So this is the actual model. So let's place him in the scene. So you can just drag and drop him in there. Then Control Shift S to save. Uh, to move around in Unreal, you can hold right click and then use WASD to kind of like fly. And if you think you're flying too fast, you can go to the camera speed up here and reduce this. Let's put it on two. And then to scale, you have to select the egg monster and then hit R to pull up scaling. And then you can click on the middle box and drag. And then when you wanna move them up, you can hit W and then click on the arrow to move them up. All right, so he's in the game. So let's move him, let's rotate him. So you can rotate with E. So W for move. E for rotate, R for scaling. And then he has a material, we can double click on that. This is essentially where the magic happens. So right now it's just defaulting the material to nothing, like just a, a white empty thing. So what we wanna do is pull back our content up, go to the textures we exported, drag these in. It'll import those, save it. So it saves it to the project. Should be able to save all here. It'll take a second, there it goes. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we'll click on this. So you double click on this material, click on this thing, then delete it, because that's not our base color. Drag in your base color, take this RGB node, connect it to base color. And then if you hit apply, You'll see that, you'll see the base color. And then we need to grab the normal. So grab this normal, connect this. You can hit apply as well, just to see what it does. So there's our normal. 
And then we can grab our low occulsion. So this is like a mixed thing. So this has a bunch of different things in it. Uh, so the red channel goes to ambient occlusion, the green channel goes to roughness, and then the blue channel goes to metallic. Now I don't believe we ever used metallic on this model, but that is how you set it up. All right, then we can save it. Okay, and now we can add a missive. We can drag this in, and then just take the RGB, plug it into a missive, then hit apply. All right, so now he has some emissive, and you can actually scale this up and down. So let's actually just look at our model. So let's just run the game, just hit play. Just move that out of the way. All right, so he's pretty small. We'll scale him up a little bit more, but let's do that actually. Let's scale him up. So you just click on him, just hit R, scale him way up. We can make a few of them too. Let's, like, let's go back to camera speed, increase our speed back to four. So I'll make one here. And then if you hold down alt while you have uh, the movement active, so hit E and then hold down alt and drag, you can duplicate. Then I'm going to hit E, or I'm sorry, move is uh, W. So click on him, hit W. And then we're going to hit E to rotate. So if you want to duplicate something, you need to hit W to bring up the movement and then hold Alt and then click on a direction and drag while holding Alt. So I'll just make a few of these. We'll make one huge just for fun. Oops. Make a big one. And then what I want to do is Alt click again. And I'll just rotate this one just to see different details of them. All right, so let's check them out. So here's our guy in Unreal Engine. Now, if we want to increase the glow intensity, that's actually pretty easy to do. So you double click on your material to open it. And what we can do, you can just hold down Alt and click on a, a line to delete it. Hold down M, click to create a multiply node. Alternatively, you can right click and type in multiply and then enter. Uh, M and click on the graph creates a multiply node. Uh, and then what we do is we plug in the RGB into the top and we plug this into a missive and then you need to multiply it by something. So if we hold down one and click, we'll create what is called a constant or a variable that's just a number. So if I multiply this by zero, the glow effect will actually be set like nullified but if i multiply this by two it'll be doubled and if i set this very high for example to like 10 and then hit apply we have a much stronger glow effect so when i said in the previous tutorials that the glow is just like the, the emissive layer is just kind of like a dumb layer and then it's up to the final place like you know in this case unreal engine to determine how it's going to look this is what i meant so you basically have access to this node system and then you can modify values you can also multiply other things like you can multiply the normals for example to increase their intensity like there's a bunch of different things you can do with uh nodes so now let's check this guy out so now he has more intense glowing effect. And then I can change that. So uh, just for fun, let's just see what 100 looks like. That's pretty crazy. And the cool thing about it is you can set up a missive so that it actually casts light. Because right now, uh, actually it is right now. It might not cast light on the player, but it's casting light on the environment. Let's check it out. Yeah, you can see it's very intense. It is casting like light and it's like glowing so that's that's the effect of emissive and the customization of unreal they kind of work hand in hand and then if, like you know if you want something more reasonable you could set this to i don't know five hit apply and that's something that's more toned down so you can you can ramp it up you can tone it down and that is the end result and here's i'll full screen this just so you can see 
here is how we set up the material. Base color just goes into base color. Normal just goes into normal. Uh, the mixed AO roughness metallic. The red channel goes into AO. The green channel goes into roughness and the blue channel goes into metallic. And then for emissive, it just plugs directly into emissive. And then we created a multiply node by holding down M and clicking and then attaching that. And then we created a constant, which is just a, a number. It's a variable that stores a number value. We hold down one to create a constant. And then we changed, we clicked on the constant, we changed its value. That's all we did. And we connected it. We have the A, the B, and then we connect that to, into emissive. So yeah, that's optimizing the textures, importing the textures, importing your model. Pretty basic, pretty simple, pretty fun. So go out there and make some more cool things in Unreal Engine. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one.